Walker Cinema is not going to do a whole lot of good there. Uh, so I think it's something that we need to look on a case-by-case on a -case basis and, and maybe evolve what we've got into something that uh, is user-friendly. And I think, quite honestly, I think it would be good to work it along with the design standards that we've reused. user friendly for the business owners. Thanks. Okay, you have Dave. Dave Hume, 513, 1700 North. Um, my primary concern here has to do with um, the government overreaching and overstepping its bounds. And uh, if I'm going to err, I'm going to err on the side of individual liberty and freedom. So uh, I certainly have a lot of common ground, even if I'm not a business owner, with the uh, Business Alliance here. Um, and I appreciate you coming out and all those presentations, because I think that uh, the more details that we have, the easier it makes, us, makes it to do our job. Um, if there ever is a safety question, I'm going to err on the side of safety, though. A lot of this is outlined and, and said how that's not a concern. But when I look at what the government should be involved in, you know, definitely street safety can be one of those things. So that's probably the one area where my second biggest concern with our current ordinance has to do with the fact that it's not enforced. And um, I have really strong feelings on that subject because I think that when you have selective enforcement, you create a situation where whoever's popular or whoever's not popular can um, become the primary factor in whether or not that ordinance is enforced. And to me, that's basically one of the strongest bases for tyranny in any community. community. And you know, maybe, that, maybe that word sounds a little harsh to a community that, like North Ogden, where you don't really see a lot of that. But um, I don't want a situation to arise where uh, somebody's... Another thing that I don't like about our ordinance is that I don't see a lot of um, details in there about how to enforce it. Um, any good ordinance to me has to have clearly defined remedies and penalties. For example, if you put up a sign that I, you know, that's in violation of it, what's my remedy? If it's painted on your window, how do I take it off? Do I break your window? Do I cover it up? You know, the, the local law enforcement used to be. And the other reason why it needs to be clear is because when a planning commissioner or a city council person is voting on this, they need to understand the exact ramifications of what they are doing. And um, if, if, the under, if the ramifications are understood, I think a lot of times the, uh, the votes are a little more moderate. Um, just some other things that I noticed from looking at this. Um, because so many of the signs in our city are legal non-conforming, if a business fails and that grandfather clause no longer applies, makes it extremely difficult for another business to come in and replace them. If they can't use that same sign, now not only are they at a disadvantage from going to some other city, but they're at a major disadvantage to somebody that's been in the city longer. And so I think that's going to encourage blight and make it a lot harder for us to replace some sort of business that needs to leave for some reason. So you know, these are just some of the ideas I have listening to this. Um, I'd be interested in being involved in any way that I can, obviously, uh, because I think this is going to be so, yeah, I prefer that it looks nice. I think it does look nice, but um, I'm not a business owner, and so my definition of what it should look like, to me, probably shouldn't matter as much as somebody that's got a background in marketing and sales. So I um, absolutely respect their ability to come up um, with the kind of ways that these things need to be done. I think a lot of self-policing by the business community is um, good as well, where you have a situation where uh, simply peer pressure among business owners it can be the, uh, the best means of controlling um, science getting out of control. My name is Joan Brown. I live at 2010 North 775 East. And I want you to know that I do understand business. My daughter and I are the founders of Pretzel Maker. And when we opened our store at the Newgate Mall, the first thing they said is you'll never make it with one product. Well, we did have two. We had sometimes here. They would like us to just throw away the sign ordinance and, and uh, everyone can do whatever they want. Um, and I don't think that's the answer. I do think we need 
uh, some regulations, uh, although, okay, uh, let's have uh, comments from the council, if, it, if the council would like to address some of these issues, uh, let's, let's have that. Uh, Brett, Brett has a... So, um, I mean, kind of why a committee, I think that's the only way really to get all of those different stakeholders into one organization, a committee, with a couple city council members, a uh, couple members of the planning commission, with the city manager, and then some uh, Craig and or uh, Julia from the community development staff, some uh, business leaders and owners from North Ogden, and then some citizens who are not necessarily business owners but can put a perspective of, you know, we're in the city. And then that committee can make an assessment of the ordinances that we're talking about here and then reckon this which then can be um, action for the planning commission and city council decide. So again it's a uh, you know, kind of this proposal that's been put together. Um, myself because I've forgotten it. And on Grace Harvest Bread, even though they've been here a lot of years, I've only been in there a couple of times and I don't think about them usually when I'm driving down the road because there's nothing there to remind me that they're there. So I think that signage is important. Thank you. Thank you, Rob. Martha? The requirement is to have the public hearing at the Planning Commission. And, and I'm very confident that the law that has changed since the last decade, so what we did a decade ago could be uh, under new law now, but also this might be an a situation sensitive enough that the City Council would like to have additional opportunities for public comment. Um, and address the sign ordinance, and I appreciate him sticking to his guns and take care of it. So, thanks, Wade. Now you can talk. Okay, Wade, uh, we know you have some, some concerns. <coughs> to, uh, would you address this, please? Well, um, yeah, and I'm not going to rehash those from last time. Um, you, you know, you guys know how I feel on that. But I, I agree um, with Ron a lot. Um, I, I was thinking with a lot that he said. I was thinking, and, and one of those business owners was Kurtz, right? That you yep, talked to, see, and, and he's grandfathered, so he doesn't have to live by um, some of these signage that it, that it, something gets done. Um, looking at all these past minutes and things, the exact same things we talked about today were talked about in 2003 and were talked about twice last year, but it didn't result in any action. I know in 2003 there were some little things done, but it, the little things seem you know, composed according to how Brent uh, asked us to, to do this now. We've got some legal restrictions. We can only have two members of the city council on the committee, we can only have two planning commission members. Other than that, that's pretty well open to however we want. But legally, we can only have uh, those two from each organization, as I stated. Uh, I suspect, as far as the leadership of the committee would be concerned, uh, the leader the leader needs to keep things moving, as, as Wade's stated. And so, I would guess our city manager would do a pretty good job of that. And uh, so. What I'm going to ask is, uh, unless, like I say, unless I hear huge objections, am I hearing any? You guys let me know who you'd like to have on the committee in the next day or two, or even tonight, or whatever you'd like to do. Uh, let me know who, who you'd recommend for those, those people, and then I will appoint this committee, and uh, we'll get it moving. Mayor, can I, can yes. I make a sure. uh, proposal or a suggestion? How about if we, um, to keep it moving or whatever, what if, what if we could have it like they met twice a month, like the city council does, and then for the next little bit in each city council meeting, uh, perhaps have a report on that? Uh, because these meetings will not be in the public eye. Um, but that way, if they're meeting a couple of times a month like us, and then they, we can follow up. And Unless there's any further comments, uh, you all know that you need to get me word within the next little bit. Uh, and, and then we'll just go from there. So, unless there are further comments, uh, Brett, are you okay with this? And any further comments, Brett? Uh, no, Mr. Mayor, sounds great. Just uh, looking forward to seeing it going. Okay. <coughs> I would 
Thank you. 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 Thank you.